Late model Mustang owners have got a lot of different choices available when it comes to tuning their ECUs. Some of these are pretty complicated and not for beginners, but Sniper Incorporated has got a system that can take you all the way from simple point and click tuning all the way up to unlocking everything your ECU can handle. Let's take a look at how the system works by installing a K&N cold air intake system and a Zex Nitro system and tuning the car to take full advantage of these new parts. The tuner comes with what Sniper calls Special Forces, a program that lets you create a base map for virtually any late model Ford engine combination. Once you build your base file, you'll use either the Delta Force or Commando tuning software to calibrate your ECU. The difference between the two is that Delta Force is designed to allow tuners and dealers to build calibrations for multiple vehicles. The first thing we're going to do is put the car on the dyno and get some baseline numbers so we know where we're starting. Baseline dyno runs gave us an average of 152 horsepower and 198 pound-feet of torque. Now let's take the car back off the dyno and start turning some wrenches. The Zex Nitrous kit we're going to be installing is Mustang specific so it has the fittings we need to tap into the returnless fuel system as well as having a nitrous line that's appropriately sized. The nitrous management unit has a built-in throttle position sensor interface that allows us to tap directly into the TPS line for activation purposes. We're also going to be using a Zex RPM window switch that will allow us to turn the nitrous on and off at specific RPM points, as well as selecting what gear we want the nitrous to activate in. Our k and intake is from their FIPK line and will offer increased fuel economy and better performance whether we're on the bottle or not. Unlike traditional nitrous systems, the Zex NMU packages all the components into a single box, making installation much easier. With the Zex Nitrous and K&N intake installed, it's time to get the Commando software up and running so we can tune our Mustang. To use the software, first follow the steps to retrieve the stock tune off your ECU. Once you have the stock tune transferred to your PC, Special Forces will create a custom base file by asking you a series of questions. Make sure to enter your computer box code found on your ECU. It will be three letters and one number. Follow through the prompts, changing options that fit your needs. To keep the transmission from downshifting on the dyno, we lock the automatic into third. You will need to deselect this once you're done on the dyno. You will now have a custom tune file based on the answers you chose. It's time to test it on the dyno. The program tune picked up 3 horsepower. From there we decided to modify the tune a bit. You can then load the tune file back into Special Forces, advancing the screens to bring up basic fuel and timing adjustments. If you happen to have the Delta Force or Commando tuning software, you can modify your tune like a full standalone by loading your tune and template file. You can compare two tune files that will highlight the areas that were changed between them. Be careful though, the tuner will do exactly what it's told, so attention to detail is critical. The tuner will also hold up to five tune files and your stock file. With some slight fuel and ignition changes, we netted a total gain of seven horsepower and six foot-pounds, which were gains we were happy with. For our Zex Nitrous runs, we pulled two degrees of timing from the stock tune and lowered the IMRC crossover point so it wouldn't occur during nitrous activation. The gains on the 50 shot increased the horsepower by 50 and torque by 91. Overall, the K&N intake and Zex Nitrous kit performed great and we were able to data log the runs as we made changes along the way. 
The Commando tuning software by Sniper gave us exactly what we needed to create great power on and off the Nitrous.